Well, hello there, Number Ninjas. I hope you all enjoyed your spring break and your Easter weekend. I miss you all very much, but when it comes to learning, you know that the show must go on. So I guess we're gonna make our own show. So this week for our track day work in fourth grade math, we're just gonna review fractions. Um, however, in order to be as relevant as possible, I'd like to go back and revisit a target they gave us all just a little bit of trouble. How to simplify fractions. i share my screen here. Now, technically, simplifying fractions is the same thing as finding equivalent fractions. However, in practice, creating an equivalent fraction by multiplying both numerator and denominator by any given number is much easier than dividing them both by a common factor. So as a little refresher, I'd like you to watch this. I can get back out of this. Start share, start share. I'm gonna watch a little video on simplifying fractions. Hi, today on Math is Fun, let's enjoy learning about simplifying fractions. Let's get some pizza. Here are four eighths of a pizza, and two fourths, and a half. Why say four eighths when you really mean half? Simplifying or reducing fractions means to make the fraction as simple as possible. To simplify a fraction, divide the top and bottom by the highest number that can divide into both numbers exactly. How do I simplify a fraction? There are two ways to simplify a fraction. Method one, try dividing both the top and bottom of the fraction until you can't go any further. Try dividing by two, three, five, seven, etc. Example, simplify the fraction 24 over 108. First, divide it by two. 24 divided by two is 12, and 108 divided by two is 54. Divide the 12 and the 54 again by two, you get six over 27. Now, divide by three, and you get two ninths. Here is another example. Can we divide by two? Yes. How about two again? No, because 21 can't be evenly divided by two, as you would get 10 and a half. How about three? No, because 14 divided by three doesn't work. How about five? No. How about seven? Yes, and we are done. Method. Okay, back to our slideshow. Okay, let's answer the real question. Why do we have to know this information? When are we ever going to have to actually simplify fractions in real life? Well, let's think of an example. Maybe Ms. Fowler decides to bake a cake. But anyone who knows Ms. Fowler knows that she's not liable to make a cake or cookies or anything in the kitchen anytime soon. So let's stick with reality. Ms. Fowler likes to ride her motorcycle. So now that we're back to uh, real life, we know that all responsible motorcycle owners um, have to maintain their vehicles. It's part of being a safe driver, safe rider. But when I went into my garage this morning, this is what I found. Hang on, let me stop share. This is what I found. Lots and lots and lots of, oops, there, there went one, it escaped. Lots and lots of these little sockets, all different sizes, everywhere in the bottom of the toolbox. So how is a person supposed to work on anything when they can't find the right tool? So here's what I know about my sockets. Each 
of my sockets is 1 16th of an inch larger or smaller than the size next to it. So whenever I gather all my loose sockets, I know that they are all 1 16th, 2 16th, 3 16th, and so on for the whole set. I do know that much. However, when I gathered them all together, I could see that they were not all marked as 16th of an inch um, increments. So why would they all not be marked 16th of an inch when they are all 1 16th larger than the next closest size? It's because some of these fractions, in fact, all of these fractions on these sockets have already been simplified. So I need your help now. I've made a list of my sockets from smallest to largest. Okay. Your mission now is to simplify all of the fractions that can be simplified and simplify them all the way. In other words, if you had 50 one hundredths and you simplified it to five tenths, it would be in a simpler form, but it would not yet be in the simplest form because five tenths could be further simplified to one half. Now we are going to use that information to simplify these fractions for my poor sockets that I don't know what happened to them. I'm pretty sure Mason probably got into my toolbox and made that mess, just saying. But we are going to simplify all these 16th inch sockets, the ones that can be simplified. Okay, so in order to do this, you need to grab a pencil and a piece of paper, and most importantly, you have to pause the video. Guys, I want to see how many of these you can simplify before continuing the video because I'm going to share the answers with you at the end of the video. So keep track of your answers. I want you to see how many you are able to get correct with no help. Grab your pencil and paper. I'll give you a second and pause the video now. All right, team, I trust that you paused the video, simplified as many of these fractions as possible, and hopefully you've kept track of your answers because we're gonna review our answers now, okay? So first, were you able to identify all the fractions that could not be simplified? The ones that are already in their simplest form? Because there were eight fractions in this set, eight fractions that are already in their simplest form. I'm going to show them to you now. If you look, you can see they are all in blue. That would be 1 16th, 3 16th, 5 16th, 7 16th, 9 16th, 11 16th, 13 16th, and 15 16th. These fractions are already in their simplest form. The others, however, can be simplified. 2 sixteenths, for example, will simplify to 1 eighth. 4 sixteenths simplifies to 1 fourth. 6 sixteenths to 3 eighths. 8 sixteenths, of course, simplifies all the way to 1 half. 9 sixteenths, sorry, 10 sixteenths simplifies to 5 eighths. 12 sixteenths to 3 fourths. 14 sixteenths to 7 eighths, and 16 sixteenths, of course, is the same thing as one whole, or in this case, one whole inch, a one inch socket. Okay, so record the number of answers that you got fully correct, and on our next live Zoom call, you can tell me how you did. I've shown the work here, I've kind of shown what you can divide the numerators and denominators by in each of these to get the simplified answer. So you can use this as a reference also that may help you check your work. So thank you so much for helping me get my socket set organized. I will be talking to you all soon. All right, bye-bye now.